One single article has boosted a stock by 30% within the space of a day. That is crazy. Investors have seen this article, right? It's been shared by the mainstream media in the United States and in Europe and probably in Australia as well. Many EV fans have seen this and they've dived in headfirst, invested literally hundreds of millions of dollars into this stock within the past few days, all because a lady called Janine was probably paid by the company to boost the stock price with a very generalized article that makes some very bold claims and tells people to invest um, based on technology that doesn't yet exist. This could be a very scary proposition for those who have invested. Many people have been burned recently with massive investments into companies like Lucid and billions of dollars have been lost. Okay, so there's a, there's a website called Benzinga and they have a journalist there who's pretty well known in the United States. She has said that Tesla's batteries suck big time because there's some new battery technology from a US company which crushes Tesla. It has 300% more energy density. It charges three times faster. And as a result, Tesla's batteries are obsolete. And well, to be honest, they're absolutely shockingly bad in comparison to this new groundbreaking revolutionary technology from an American battery company. Here's what she had to say. And here's my thoughts on her very contra well I think very controversial claims. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to have you. Thank you for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. So Janine Mancini said this new battery technology crushes Tesla's technology after solid state Marvel unveiled with 300% higher energy density and 15 minute charging. Now, first of all, I should point out the company that makes these batteries is burning through cash. It's believed that within 12 months, they will have burned through all the cash that they have received from the Volkswagen group who have given them billions of dollars. In the rapidly evolving landscape of electric vehicle technology, a new player is emerging as the most formidable challenger to Tesla and its dominance, QuantumScape, a Silicon Valley based startup is revolutionizing the EV battery market with its cutting edge solid state batteries. Okay, first of all, you can't buy these batteries yet. So a bit of a fact check there. Unfortunately, this uh, article hasn't been fact checked by any of the social media sites. Facebook hasn't fact checked it. Interesting that anyway, the batteries are touted to have tripled the energy density of Tesla's lithium ion cells, significantly faster charging and a safer, more sustainable design. So triple the energy density. Is that true? Has QuantumScape claimed that they have triple the energy density? No. QuantumScape has said theoretically in the future at some point in time, they may be able to reach those numbers. Um, yeah, that's obviously purely theoretical. Anyway, QuantumScape's leap into the future is marked by its innovative use of solid state technology, which replaces the traditional liquid electrolyte in batteries with a solid material. She said ceramic material, but it's a bit more complicated than that. This transition increases energy density, allowing for longer driving ranges and reduces the risks of fire hazards associated with conventional lithium ion batteries. The company's bold claims of recharging to 80% capacity in 15 minutes will transform the EV landscape, addressing the major concerns of EV consumers. Charging time. For me personally, that's not my major concern. I personally uh, think that EVs with longer range are probably the, the biggest concern of consumers. The reason I say that, about 98% of charging is done at home. 98%. So therefore, I don't think charging time is as significant as what people claim. The cost effectiveness and scalability of QuantumScape's technology are noteworthy, says Janine. While Tesla has made significant strides in reducing the cost of its batteries, QuantumScape's solid state batteries promise a further reduction in production costs. So in other words, 
Quantum Escape is saying their batteries will be cheaper than Tesla's batteries. Pretty hard to believe that. I mean, think about it this way, right? 70% of Tesla's cars worldwide are sold with lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL. They are the cheapest batteries in the world today. Some of them are sold with BYD LFP batteries, but anyway, the point is BYD CATL doesn't really matter. They're the cheapest batteries you can get in the world that are mass produced. So QuantumScape saying their batteries will be even cheaper than that, that's probably not very likely because if QuantumScape's batteries are revealed in electric cars within the next couple of years, they'll probably be in high demand if they do in fact have three times the energy density because you'd be seeing electric cars with probably 1,000 miles of range very, very comfortably. Anyway, this potential for cheaper, more efficient batteries is crucial as the EV market becomes increasingly competitive with automakers worldwide striving to meet rising demand and stringent emissions regulations. QuantumScape's journey has been marked by strategic partnerships and solid financial backing. With Volkswagen as a major investor, the startup is well positioned to leverage Volkswagen's extensive automotive expertise and global reach. The company's impressive performance in various testing scenarios, including extreme temperatures and rapid charging cycles, has bolstered confidence in its technology. Its solid state batteries hold the promise of much longer range, faster charging and improved safety. These factors are critical. While Tesla continues to lead the EV market with its advanced technology and expansive charging network, QuantumScape's breakthrough in battery tech presents a huge challenge and a problem potentially. As the EV industry evolves, the competition between these two innovators is set to redefine the standards of electric mobility. The potential impact of QuantumScape's technology extends beyond the automotive industry with the implications for energy storage, renewable energy, integration, and the broader goal of a carbon neutral future. The EV battery market is not about just one company. It's not just about Tesla, she says. It's an ecosystem brimming with innovation, with numerous startups and established firms working on various cutting edge technologies. And I'll agree with that. Each of these companies, like QuantumScape, carries the promise of shaping the future of electric mobility and renewable energy. Investing in such companies is not just a financial decision, it's a vote of confidence in a sustainable future and a cleaner, more efficient mode of transportation. The potential, she says, of big returns is bolstered by the growing global emphasis on reducing carbon emissions and transitioning to clean energy sources. Now, as a result of her article, the stock price, like I said, has bounced by 30%. It's up 30% from what Janine wrote here. Clearly, people have read this article and gone, wow, this is the next innovation. This is the next company to, to make it big. This is how I'm going to strike it rich. I'd be very careful about that. Keep in mind, this company went public 10 years ago, and so far they've generated no revenue. They're a company that has some pretty high risk. Salaries of management and the 800 employees are paid from cash they received from Volkswagen and from selling company shares. So it's very likely that as a result of this boost in stock price of 30%, the company will sell more shares to pay its salaries. This obviously can't continue long term. The cash on hand will be spent in less than two years. And then if they can't get more investment from outside companies, obviously they would be in trouble. Now the author doesn't really understand here basic technology because realistically, even if the battery is capable of charging at those speeds, say 500 kilowatt charging speeds, it needs the infrastructure. There's currently no chargers installed worldwide that can charge at that speed. And even if there are batteries, you need the chargers. And the reality is here, no one is currently building out a charging network that can charge at these crazy speeds. Without the chargers, this is just all theory. Now, obviously, this company could very well succeed, and I hope they do. I believe QuantumScape have some amazing technology, but as with all solid state batteries, particularly the technology from Toyota, we're still years away. And we've been years away for years. Nobody truly knows when they'll hit production. Hopefully QuantumScape is the first, but this is a race. And the race doesn't involve one participant. 
There's at least 30 different companies worldwide working on solid state batteries. Who's got to win the race? Well, the truth is absolutely nobody knows. It's potluck. In other words, if you invest in this company, you are taking a significant risk because without knowing who the winner will be, well, it's truly anyone's guess.